Hey guys, back with another cryptocurrency mining video as I get deeper into doing this. I'm branching out from mining on my gaming PC to actually building my first rig. Now, since open air frames are very hard to get, at least good ones, you can buy a crappy one on eBay and I really don't feel like doing that. And I don't want to build one myself. I could probably do it, but I just don't have the time to do it. I'm going to build this on an, an ATX full tower case that I found that it should be okay as far as airflow. And it's going to be a 1660 Ti based system. I ordered three of them. They should be here within two weeks by like end of February. So I'm going to be using those. And those are pretty efficient. They'll get 30 mega, mega hash per card at about 80 watts. So a total of 90 mega hash at 240 watts. So pretty efficient. We'll talk about what it'll generate. So I'm going to be using this EVGA power supply, this Nova Gold uh, 850 watts so 680 watts if you go by the 80 percent rule should give me plenty of power uh, to power these three here's the card the evga 1660 ti ultra gaming it's a dual slot card so the motherboard that i have which is from my old gaming pc i'm going to be using which is is, is this gigabyte board this uh, ga z 170 x uh, ud 5 th board now that's a mouthful and it does have three PCI slots. Um, it's got six if I ever wanted to use it as a mining board, but I'm hoping I can fit three cards in here. Then since these are dual width, I might not be able to. I maybe just be able to fit two in here. But if that's the case, then the third 1660 Ti I'll put into my, my gaming PC. I'll have room for that because right now I only have a, a 1080 Ti in there and I've got plenty of power to add a 1660 Ti. So hopefully I'll get them all in here. We'll see. Uh, this is the case I'm going to be using, the Rosewill, sorry, full tower, uh, ATX full tower. From the looks of it, I can rip out all of these hardware, these HDD cases and make plenty of room in here. Maybe I can get like an external riser for the third card or we'll see. All right. But in any event, the plan is to go with the, the fans that come with it. It comes with these three 120 fans and a, and a 140 fan. Plan is to go with those and to leave it open air. So I'll leave this lid, the lid off of it and I'll, it'll be on its side, right? So the heat will rise out of it and uh, see if we can build it so that it has good airflow and it's got plenty of ventilation. Now, I'm going to be putting this in a room in my basement that's very cool. It's right next to, it's like a storage room, that a small storage room that's very always very cool in the winter and even in the summer. And it's got a separate outlet that goes right to the breaker box. So I'll be able to monitor power and stuff on it. So Anyway, this is sort of like my first experiment, right? So I'm hoping that this will at least get me into it and we'll see how it goes. Now, the idea is all of these parts, if I decide to move this to an open air rig, okay, I can use all of this stuff. I could just basically take it all out, build an open air rig and just, you know, just have a different form factor. And the only thing I would lose is this case for $119, but... You know, I could use that, you know, for a different PC or whatever. So this everything here is like sort of like recyclable, right? So let's talk about the profitability. It'll be 330, 1660 TIs at 90 mega hash, 240 watts power, okay? And if I, I did the calculation here and it's about $10 a day in profit, okay? I used the high cost of electricity because my, my electricity is about 12 cents, but uh, 14, I just... I always put 14 in there just to, to give you the higher rate, right? So it's it just leaves you margin for error. So basically, I'll be able I should be able to get $10 a day profit uh, on this rig. And I also mine Ravencoin. So if I want, I can. I know Ravencoin's not as profitable, but $4 a day or almost over 100 Ravencoin per day. Uh, what I what I usually do is like with my gaming PC, I'll mine Ethereum and Zill or evenings when I'm not using my PC, and then like one or two, you know, one or two days a week, I'll mine Ravencoin just to build that up. So in any event, that's the rig that I'm planning. If you take a look here, it's got 134 day break even based on these rates and ten dollars per day. So if it's running 24 seven in 134 days, which is four and a half months, I guess, it will basically pay for itself, all of the hardware. Now, keep in mind that I already own the motherboard and the RAM, right? So I don't have to pay for that. But 134 days, this unit pays for itself, and then it starts generating a profit. So if you take a look at it, profit per day, $10 uh, Ethereum per day, 70 per week, about $300 per month, which is pretty good. Not bad, right? And then profitability, about $3,600 a year. So once we get past this 134 days, 
this little unit's going to be generating $3,600 a year, right? So it's, I think it's a nice start. And then eventually, you know, I may build an open air rig where I've got three 1660s. And once the 3060 TIs are available, put three of them and those in there. And then this can be a pretty killer mining rig, right? As far as Ethereum per day, 0 0.0061. Uh, per week, 0 0.0427. All in all, in a year, this particular, this small little rig will generate 2.2 Ethereum per year. So the numbers ring out. And even if you take a look at profitability, let's say it goes down to $8 a day, okay? It's 160 days. Let's say it goes down to $7 a day. It's 190 days, right? So six months. It's still can be a profitable rig. Even Ethereum loses half its value when I'm mining and I'm, and I'm only making $5 a day. Eventually, this thing will pay for itself and still be able to make money. So it's really kind of like a no-brainer. And it's a good project just to get me into building my first mining rig. All the stuff is on order. It should all be here probably, well, at least the, the, the guts of the system, not the GPU, should be here next week. So I'll start to put that together and then Hopefully, the GPUs will be here by the end of the month, and we'll get this thing up and mining. I'm probably going to go to with Windows 10. I was looking at Hive OS, and I want the ability to easily switch to mining Ravencoin and other coins. I'm, I'm just not sure about using Hive OS on this, I'm, so I'm probably going to go to with Windows. You can get like a really cheap Windows Home OEM version for like 10 bucks. So I'm going to buy that and use, and probably go with Windows on this on this machine. And that way I can use uh, Phoenix Miner for e Ethereum, uh, which is what I've, and Zill, because I actually do dual mining. I mine Zill. And then once in a while I could switch it over to uh, to Ravencoin using, I think I use T-Rex for that. So that's the plan. I'm going to document this as I start to build the system. Figure it'd be kind of cool. And I know this is, you know, a hot topic right now. Everyone's thinking about how they can get their hands on Ethereum. And mining is a great way to do it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cryptocurrency content. Guys, have a great day and happy mining. Take care.